Some things never change. Like the sound of pads crushing against the equipment, the feel of cleats on fresh cut grass, or the deep breaths from a full practice. Another thing that never changes, the feeling of relief when the whistle blows for break. And the savory snack to go along with it. This is a moment to remember. This is a Mingi moment. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 956 Kentucky charities and community events. Employees of Whitaker Bank volunteered 14,860 hours to better our Kentucky communities. 93 nonprofits that promote diversity and inclusion in Kentucky are supported by Whitaker Bank. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. I work really hard, but I don't make a whole lot of money. And now, my hours are being cut back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started All right, and welcome to Lexington Christian Academy. It's William Warfield here with you as uh, we bring you uh, high school soccer here on the network. This is game number two of the night. This one featuring the Lexington Catholic Knights as they take on the Henry Clay Blue Devils. Uh, this one for an opportunity to play in the championship game on Saturday at 6 p.m. against Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Well, Henry Clay do it or will... For tonight, Lexington Girls Catholic do it. That's the question. Tonight's team, the away team, Lexington Catholic Lady Knights. And so let's the try if I can get it ready for us. Blue Devils. Bringing the teams out here World Cup style and going to introduce the teams one by one. Knights, again, the away team, so they should be introduced first, I would imagine. Is right there. There's Ham. Number nine, Corey McLaughlin. 
Number 11, Jordan Galt. McLaughlin, Tori McLaughlin. Number 12, Maddie Corbett. Number 13, Corbett. Alexis Burdine. There's Burdine. Number 16, Grace Mooring. Number 20, Sydney Shaw. Grace Mooring and Sydney Shaw. Bryant. Bryant. Number 24, Emily Scanlon. Scanlon and. And number 26, Laura Benahan. Benahan. And Lady Knights. And now for the home team, the Henry Clay Blue Devils. I'll show you the Henry Clay Blue Devils. Bitch. Number two, LQ. Number 15, Jordan Galt. Number 17, McLean Huffman. Huffman. Number 13, Lauren Scheller. Scheller. Number 14, Margaret Tiano. Tiano. Number 16, Elizabeth Hunley. Hunley. Number 18, Mason Ransdell. Ransdell. Number 21, Grin Leach. Leach. Number 22, Amy Cox. Amy Cox. And number 28, Corey Beaumont. And Corey Beaumont. Good luck to the Blue Devils. Blue Devils and Good luck to the both Knights teams as we get underway in this regional semifinal. Well, this one should be a good one. They met in the, uh, let's see, they, they met just a couple weeks ago, I believe, both of these two teams. But look up, let me see if I can pull up their schedule, but I'm pretty sure that they just met a couple weeks ago. Lexington Catholic was able to uh, get the win. Working on that schedule. Meanwhile, we're going to we'll take you into the, Huddle here, Coach Terry Quigley and his Knights. Let's see if I can pull up the Lady Knights schedule and see how that last meeting between these two turned out. I think they know that their own prop spinner looks like. Um, so they actually met in the beginning of the season. It was two to nothing. Lexington Catholic won two to nothing in the beginning of the season um, against Henry Clay. So Henry Clay will have the rock first as we put 40 minutes up on the board and Henry Clay in the blue and yellow and Lexington Catholic in the white with the blue trim on the numbers and the blue letters. It's the Knights and the Blue Devils. And historically, these two teams, they trade punches in the playoffs. Henry Clay has got a big win over Lexington Catholic in the past. It's been a while, but Lexington Catholic has got them a few times too. So we'll see how this one plays out. The winner, again, advances to the 11th Region Championship game Saturday at 6. So Lexington Catholic with the toss in over there. Henry Clay will chase it down. A little check there at midfield. And Blue Devils are on the attack here offensively. These two teams will probably fill each other out before the Playing really gets gets uh, underway. I mean, they're going to kind of see what they can get away with here, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And the second half should be fireworks. Oh out of bounds on the far side. I want to thank Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode PLLC uh, for all the 
they do for us here on the network. Mingi Beef Jerky, the official game day snack of Prep Spin. And then, of course, uh, Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign, Drs. Durbin, Morris, and Gardner. I want to thank them for all that they do. UPS Kentucky, UPS Loop. I want to thank them. Throw in for Catholic. Toss in here for Lexington Catholic. Blue Gas Orthopedics. Andrew Carlson and his great staff that uh, are probably here out on the field today, I would imagine. I want to give them a shout-out as well. Bluegrass Orthopedics, official sports medicine and injury and rehab provider of Prep Spin. Throw in for Henry Clay on the far side. Could not do what we do without our great partners. On the network. Corbett had a touch on it briefly. Play to her again. It's battle for the ball here and get back and forth. We, we expect to play a lot of both sides of the field here in this first half of play. Opalka in the net for. Lexington Catholic as we got a tackle over there. Um, and then Leach in the, I believe it's Leach. Let me double check that. No, Finch, excuse me. Finch in the frame for Henry Clay. Be over at uh, Henry Clay tomorrow night. We got the city championship, the district championship on the line in football tomorrow night. Here's Corbett. Shot deflected. Good defense, Blue Devils. And here comes Henry Clay on the attack. Knights take it away. Burdine. Burdine got loose over there, weaving in and out of traffic until she's finally stopped. Trying to create here. They've had uh, the majority of the possession so far. So we just got started, however. But it is important to know that that's what's going on. Grace Morn Mooring, excuse me, for uh, Lexington Cali. She's also playing well out there at the moment. And then uh, Tori McLaughlin. I want to forget to mention her out there because she's doing a great job right now. Not always on camera, those two, but they uh, certainly Brian, do an outstanding okay. job for the Knights. I'll give a shout-out also to um, Schaff, Bryant, Banahan, Scanlon, and, uh, of course, McKenna Ham, number two, the junior, who does a great job, too, for Lexington Catholic. We'll talk about Henry Clay in just a second. Touch shot there by the Knights, but not anything major on that one. Throwing Henry Clay, and we have a sub. Number 29, Chloe Freebus. So we talked about Finch in the frame. Then you got Ella Pugh for uh, Henry Clay, who does a great job. Hawkins Smith. Uh, Kimber Hawkinsmith, who's a senior, had a great season so far.
continue to talk about the Blue Devils here in just a second. As we wait for this one to kind of play out. The touch right there was Annie Cox. You saw Annie Cox with the touch on it there for Henry Clay. Battle for the ball, and here comes the Blue Devils, and this is uh, Corinne Leach. Corinne Leach, excuse me. And Corinne uh, will have it go out of play. So Cox will toss it in for Lexington Catholic. Knights in white, the Blue Devils in the blue. And we're here at Lexington Christian Academy tonight for the semifinal of the 11th Region Girls Soccer Tournament. Simulcast in it tonight. It's on Prep Spin along with NFHS Network and on Facebook Live tonight on Facebook Watch. Big game. Coming in for Henry Clay. Shaffle would play it back here. Knight's jersey numbers are hard to see. I mean, you got to get real close up on them to be able to see the jersey numbers, even in our camera view. Unless we're really zoomed in on them, it's hard to tell who they are out there. Unless, of course, we we know most of them by now. But Coming in for or coming up here for Henry Clay. That's Huffman over there. McLean Huffman going to throw this one in, and actually they give it over to uh, Ella Pugh now. So Pugh. Martha comes in. Pugh will have the throw in. Piscana comes into the ball game. That one broken up by the Knights. Another throw for Pugh. Thanks everybody for tuning in tonight, however you may be watching us. A lot, a lot of people here watching it in the crowd tonight too. As uh look down there and seeing a few cell phones with the game on. And uh got a big crowd here. Throwing coming up for Henry Clay. A little bit of contact as one of the nice and Catholic Knights go down as Henry Clay trying to chase them, this one back on defense, and they will clear it out. That was uh, Ella Pugh, the sophomore, able to clear that one out for Henry Clay. Battle for the rock over there. The Knights will play it back. Saw one, uh, well, saw two really good goalkeepers in that first game. And uh, this one, you got two really good ones too. Opalka is phenomenal in the frame for Lexington Catholic. And then, um, Finch for Henry Clay. We've seen her make some big plays this season. So it'll be interesting uh, how 
they handle the shots once these two teams start getting into the red zone. Nobody's had a, a real good look so far except for Catholic, and it wasn't, uh, I mean, didn't really have a lot of mustard on the shot. It was just a, a flick, if you will, that uh, missed. Dunbar has already punched their ticket for the regional championship. Lexington Catholic, if they punch their ticket, then you'll have a 43rd district matchup for the region championship. If Henry Clay, however, punches their ticket tonight, then you'll have a 42nd versus 43rd matchup. which quite honestly is no surprise is two of the toughest districts in the state right there between the 43rd, 42nd, and then when you go south of here, when you talk about a great West Chessman team that's played Danville tonight in their region semifinal, and they were up seven to nothing last time we heard. That one over the top of the goal. Goal kick coming up for the Blue Devils. My good friend John Sims, a call, folks. He'll take care of you if you're thinking about bankruptcy. And Lauren Keller. Oh, line drive and had a little flare on it I don't know if I'd be you know this is just my opinion but I don't know if I would try to use my head when it's as cold as it is out there right now I don't know if I use my head and let that ball hit me of course these girls are used to it but I definitely wouldn't do that true story though uh, I was in the gym at LCA and the volleyball team spiked one off the back of my head. And uh, it's like, that it actually hurt. Clay and Lexington Catholic, winner of this one again, plays in the championship game for the 11th Region Girls Soccer title. And then advances to the state games as uh, they'll be regionally hosted as well. And you've got uh, some big matchups that could happen out of that. Cross here for Lexington Catholic. Good defense by Henry Clay. Opportunity, though, and that one wide to the left. It's still in play. We do have a blind spot right there. Lexington Catholic has chased it down, sent it back into play here. As they cross it back towards the right side of the field. This one headed back. Knight's trying to push through. Just missing Corbett there. Just wide of the net. It'll be a goal kick for Henry Clay. A lot of you folks are uh, tweeting at us, so we appreciate all the feedback. Looks like number four, Sophie Skinner. So Sophie Skinner coming into the ball game. Only going to take this goal kick for uh, the Blue Devils. I'm going to be 
sent way out of there by Lexington Catholic. For Henry Clay. Throwing coming up for Henry Clay. As Carlisle will throw this one in. Blue Devils will take another throw. This throw in from Carlisle again, Natalie Carlisle. Good chance here for Henry Clay, but the Knights back on the defense. And good play there by Lexington Catholic. That was uh, Emily Scanlon on the defense for the Knights. And uh, when somebody's in her vicinity there, she really turns on the Jets and goes into that extra gear. Emily Scanlon for Lexington Catholic, outstanding defensive player. Just a freshman, by the way. Just a freshman. Plays it over to the right side. And trying to see who that is over there. It looks like it might be Mooring. Mooring, excuse me. Grace Mooring, the junior. That's who Corbett played it over to. Knights with it. It's going to go out of play to be a goal kick for Henry Clay. Goal kick for the Blue Devils. We have some subs on the field. McLaughlin uh, had a touch on it over there, I believe. Leach and Huffman coming back into the game for Henry Clay. You see the Bluegrass Orthopedics 10 over there. That's Terry Johnson, the athletic director for Lexington Christian Academy. And uh, Cam over there. Cam, we got to shoot some videos with. And Look who walks in the door as I give the mention here is my good friend Andrew Carlson. And uh ball off of the Blue Devils, throw in for Catholic. Bluegrass Orthopedics in the house also tonight. The sub for the Lady Knights. What's up, brother? Looks like cold out there, isn't it? Anne Marie Hodges. you used to it, though. You're from up north, right? Up and around Pennsylvania. <laughs> Knights had it broken up again by that Henry Clay defense. They'll play it over towards the left corner. Knights still with it, still controlling. The double team was on. Now Henry Clay punches it out of there. in the middle here. Just nothing happening so far for either team as we're halfway through the first half now. Um, Tori McLaughlin of Lexington Catholic had a touch and Sophie Skinner was around the play as well but again so hard to get through that Henry Clay defense right now. Of course, you can say the same thing about the Knights defense with Scanlon, the freshman. Knights trying to push through. That one knocked loose again by the Blue Devils, and I believe that was Ransdale over there on the play. And we have a foul on Lexington Catholic. It'll be a free kick. That was actually um, 21 as uh, Corinne Leach. This is going to be Hun Hunley, excuse me, uh, going to take the free kick for the Blue Devils. Yeah, 
They've got Ransdale playing in the middle now for Henry Clay. She's working the midfield. Sometimes they move her up front, and there you see Ransdale with a touch on it, got it over to her teammate, Leach, and now Leach on the move for Henry Clay. And to pull it back, and the Knights able to punch it away. Back and forth we go. Throw in coming up for Lexington Catholic. They work quick too. They don't uh, they don't take their time on those throw ins when they have the opportunity to keep the play alive. Battle for it over on the far side, and that was um, for Henry Clay. That was Hawkinsmith, Kimber Hawkinsmith, the senior, over there on the play. I was talking, I was, I was telling everybody that Cam was a natural on camera yesterday. You, you can't wait till you see the video. We were uh, filming some instructional videos here at uh, Lexington Christian yesterday for uh, Bluegrass Orthopedics. And Cam Decker, man, he's, uh, <laughs> he's quite the celebrity on camera. Here's Corbett. She'll take a shot. Finch there to save it. But Corbett did get a look. It was a quick look. You can't mistake Corbett. She's got that uh, blonde hair that you know, when the lights underneath the stadium <laughs> shine on it, it's pretty bright, blonde, and uh, kind of stands out uh, amongst everybody out there. So that's in my memory bank. I know who <laughs> she is by her hair out there. Long hair, blonde. Well, brightness of the lights. Of course, we all know. Opalka in the frame there for Lexington Catholic. She stands about, uh, it's probably 6'2", maybe. And is a fantastic keeper for Lexington Catholic. Opalka just a sophomore. I found out her her dad's in the construction business, and he built uh, the educational center up at the Cincinnati Zoo. I was telling we, I'm talking to Andrew Carlson, by the way, for you all watching back at home. But uh, I was talking to Mr. Opalka, and we were talking about how I missed the the uh, sloth. <laughs> up at the at the zoo, we had a we had a ticket to go see it, but you had a time frame to do it, and we just missed it. And he says, "Well, I I know people that that run it up there. We built that educational center. That's how I know." Yeah, they they're a pretty big company. dangerous uh, ball there for both teams as two players kind of met at the pinnacle of their jump and luckily they didn't bang heads there. Thirteen and a half minutes left to go in this first half of play. We are scoreless. Winner goes on to face 
Paul Lawrence Dunbar and first year rookie coach. Megan uh Paul goes out. Megan Poe. Is that how you say it? Yep, Chase Creek alum. Funny thing is, as I remember, some of the very first games that we did, she was on that team over there at uh, Tate's Creek. Yep, she was she was awesome. She goes away to college and comes back and now is a head coach at Dunbar. Henry Clay on the move. Opalka says no. Opalka had to use her body to wrap up the ball and that's perfect wording there by the public address announcer here because that's exactly what she did is she used her body to wrap up the ball there and kind of tripped up the Henry Clay young lady that uh, was taking the shot but keeper is fair game out there from my understanding and if you run into the keeper <laughs> then I believe they call it but if the keeper runs into you they usually don't call it As long as they're in the box, right? As long as they're in the box. Which Opalka definitely was. Throw in Henry Clay as Henry Clay's found an offensive surge here. As we got uh, 11 minutes and 45 seconds left to go in this first half of play. You're watching the game live on Prep Spin and also the NFHS Network tonight. And also on Facebook. So I want to welcome everybody wherever you may be watching the game tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Big crowd tonight. You know it's a big game when you got uh, the professional photographers here. I believe that's the Visca Prince guy down there. Harold Leader uh, sent, I believe, uh, Josh Soley is here tonight. Is it Jared? Okay. Josh is doing volleyball, isn't he? Is he down here too? Volleyball going on over at Scott County in their region over there. West Jessman was a winner in the girls soccer tonight over in the 12th region, defeating Danville. And it was by a large margin. It was like nine to nothing last time we seen. Seven to nothing, excuse me, last time we seen. And uh, they'll face the winner between Boyle County and East oh, Jessman in that final. And then Dunbar won one to nothing tonight against uh, Frederick Douglass team, who has to be happy with their season getting to the semifinals of a tough region, one of the best regions in the state in the 11th. You got to be happy with that in your second year of existence of your program. Pew to throw this one in. Dunbar and Lexington Catholic met last week for the district championship in the 43rd. Will they meet in the region championship for the 11th region on Saturday? It's a possibility. Last year it happened when Tate's Creek and Lexington Catholic met in their district final and the region final. Tate's Creek won the district last year and then Lexington Catholic won the region championship. So funny how that works. Of course the region is the one you want to win because that means you advance to the state tournament. Finch will scoop this one up. Morgan took that shot. So Morgan took the shot. I didn't get one of those thick jackets like you got, man. For Alan Catholic, Lauren Keller to take the throw for Henry Clay. This one just back and forth. Uh, second half should be interesting. Kayla Opaka. 
Some people call her Kayla and some people call her Kaylee on the roster. It is pronounced Kaylee. But everyone knows her as Kayla. <laughs> One thing I've never asked Dad is, which one is it? <laughs> Ball is out. Catholic throwing. We have some subs for Henry Clay. Number fifteen, Keith Akana. And quick pause in the action here is we've got. Uh, Sobs coming in too. You see, our, the Twitter is different. <laughs> Offside, Mr. Paul. Henry Clay, take a free kick. Offsides was the call against Lexington Catholic, so free kick coming up here for the Blue Devils. Don't forget, we're at Henry Clay tomorrow night. We got the city championship, the district championship in football with a surprise Henry Clay team taking on Frederick Douglass. And I've got a scoop for you. And here it is. You guys uh, may, may be disappointed in this. Maybe not. But neither starting quarterback for either team will be playing tomorrow night. They're going to have their backups in. Cam Jones resting that shoulder that he kind of banged up a couple weeks ago, to my understanding. And uh, Henry Clay starting their backup, so we're not sure why, but maybe because Frederick Douglass has a backup and they want to save their starter for the playoffs, possibly. Is it ankle? Okay. Falka scooped this one up. So I guess tomorrow we can depend on the defense to win the ball game out of those two. Of course, Douglas still has uh, amazing special teams over there. As does Henry Clay, so. Going to be a good one. Henry Clay moving on the far side. Nothing happening there, though. Offsides, Mr. Cole. Offsides. Indirect free kick for the Lady Knights. We're under five minutes left to go in this first half of play. for a cross there, but Leach unable to catch up with it. Blue Devil still on the move. Knights played five on the ball that time, all spread out. It was a two-three zone, it looked like. If you're thinking about basketball, that's how that looked. Knights on the move. Man, that was uh, Alexis Burdon over there. Was that number 13 jersey, a senior for Lexington Catholic. Trying to make something happen, but nothing happening there. Ransdell coming back into the game for the Blue Devils. I'd be lost without our uh, public address announcer over here who's doing an outstanding job tonight. Keeping up with this game. Of 
McLaughlin with it over on the far side. Going to look towards the middle, but Henry Clay breaking it up. Henry Clay clears that one out. Throw in for the Lady Knights. Down to three minutes left to go in this three minutes. first half of play. In the first half. Had a lot of Henry Clay on lately. We've had volleyball, football, we've had soccer. Lots of Blue Devil sports here the last few weeks on Prep Spin. play it back, but now they're pushing forward a little bit on the far side. Can Henry Clay oh, playing oh, it close? Play. First meeting the was the beginning of the season. It was 2 to nil. Lexington Catholic defeating Henry Clay. But that was when the teams were just getting started. Another throw in for the Lady Knights. These teams are veteran teams now. Bryant with the throw in. With the tough schedules that both teams have played. Another throw for the Lady Knights. And the ball rolls over the line. Goal kick for Henry Clay. And And tweet at us if you want to at Prep Spin. Give a shout out to your favorite player, team. Under a minute. I just want to comment about the broadcast and do so. And the nominations are still open too for the uh, Bluegrass Orthopedics Night of Champions Awards. Go to bluegrassorthopedics.com and you can suggest your comeback player of the year. There's other opportunities on there as well as far as awards go. And both Henry Clay and uh, Lexington Catholic eligible to participate. It's the only award show, by the way, that we will broadcast live. We'll have the Bluegrass Orthopedics Night of Champions live in 2019. And uh, they do an outstanding well, job at that. But here at the halftime, we're still scoreless. We'll be back here in just a few minutes. Live from Lexington Christian Academy. I wear braces as a team, didn't wear my retainer, and now my teeth are crooked again. Introducing Convenience Invisalign by Drs. Durbin, Morris, and Garner. Why would you trust your smile to one of those online do-it-yourself kits? As top 1% providers, we can transform your smile in the safest, fastest, and most affordable way possible. Our goal is to make your dream smile a reality. Schedule your 3D scan today. I'm on a fixed income. Credit cards help me balance the money that's coming in and what I need to live on. I've thought about bankruptcy, but how am I supposed to pay for it? Sometimes the people that need help the most are the very people who can least afford it. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. 
Did you know in addition to education assistance, UPS now provides housing for qualified employees? Through the UPS Kentucky Living Options and Opportunities Path, also known as UPS Kentucky Loop, you can work part-time in Louisville, go to school at Jefferson Community and Technical College, and receive housing for up to two years. Earn a degree or learn a trade. It's up to you. Loop benefits are available to those who live outside the Louisville metro area. Whether you're just starting college or going back to school, it's time to get in the loop. For more information, visit upsjobs.com. That's upsjobs.com. Did you know that 86% of all patients who have their braces removed eventually have teeth that shift back? I'm Dr. Douglas Durbin of Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign. Our exclusive permanent retainer will keep your teeth straight for the rest of your life. And it's because it's worn behind your teeth. No one will know you have it. Tell your family dentist you want a smile that lasts a lifetime. Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign offers complete monthly financing. So call Drs. Durbin, Morris, and Garner today or visit kyortho.com. At Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign, patients are in for five-star treatment. This well-established practice boasts three orthodontists and has nine convenient locations throughout Kentucky. Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign offers calm and comfort in orthodontic treatment for both children and adults. A highly trained staff welcomes every patient with a smile and individualized oral health education. Doctors Durbin, Morris, and Garner invite you to schedule your complimentary consultation appointment today. Folks, this is Gary Ball, and you hear my catchphrase, soup and a sandwich. When I want the best potato soup and prime rib sandwich, I head over to Rafferty's Restaurants after my games. Check out Rafferty's nine great locations throughout Kentucky, and all you teens, you can eat at Rafferty's before those big ball games. The open prime rib sandwich is what legends are made of. Ask Joe B. Hall, the legend himself, it's his favorite. Rafferty's a big supporter of high school sports throughout Kentucky. Rafferty's, where the special is you. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. There are 50 Whitaker Bank locations serving Kentucky communities just like mine. 61 Whitaker Bank ATMs throughout Kentucky make getting quick access to cash easy. Whitaker Bank staff serves the needs of nearly 70,000 Kentucky customers every day. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. What's your starting five? How about this one? Mild, hot, Cajun, barbecue, and teriyaki. It's the flavors of Mingi beef jerky. Each one handmade from Ronnie Mingi's all-natural recipe using top quality beef. That's what makes Mingi beef jerky stand out. Take it from me, Tom Leach. Pick up a package today, and if you don't see it, ask for it. And check them out online at MingiBeefJerky.com. That's M-I-N-G-U-A BeefJerky.com. And go there today to see their newest product, Mingi beef jerky meat sticks and mild, hot, or honey barbecue. Did you know that 86% of patients that have their braces removed have teeth that eventually shift back? At Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign, our exclusive permanent retainers will keep your teeth straight for a lifetime. Call Drs. Durbin, Morris, and Garner today or visit kyortho.com. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life.
work really hard, but I don't make a whole lot of money. And now my hours are being cut back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London. Introducing Convenience Invisalign by Drs. Durbin, Morris, and Garner. Why would you trust your smile to one of those online do-it-yourself kits? Our goal is to make your dream smile a reality. Schedule your 3D scan today. This is where it all started. We are back here at Lexington Christian Academy. We're at uh, halftime right now. Get up the right graphic there for you, but halftime we're scoreless. Uh, do want to give a shout out, uh, Kevin Brugman. He says that uh, his athletic director understudy Tony Brugman is watching tonight. And uh, so I want to give a shout out to you, sir, and uh, the Bruggemans, man. I love the, I love those guys and all that they do for us here. Uh, Kevin, especially, man. He's he always bends over backwards for us and make sure we're taken care of. And I appreciate uh, Kevin more than he knows. So uh, thanks you guys for thank you guys for uh, for tuning in tonight. Not thanks you guys, but thank you guys. Um, as again, we are scoreless here in this one. Lexington Catholic and Henry Clay. Um, this is the 11th region semifinals of girls soccer tonight. And uh, Jared, Jared Peck here tonight covering the game for the uh, Herald Leader. So check out his stuff later on tonight as well. And I assume you, after you thaw out. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it is chilly out there. I've got at least some protection from the wind in the press box tonight, but it's still a little chilly up here as well. Coach Terry Quigley and his Knights taking on Henry Clay. They, they defeated Henry Clay. We mentioned that earlier, but they defeated Henry Clay. Um, Earlier in the season, two to nil. Again, that was uh, in the very beginning of the season. Uh, Mebit Aragal, the head coach for Henry Clay, and they they've got stars on their team. You know, I mean they're they're uh, pretty solid. And Leach has been all over the field tonight. Ransdale's played good in the middle, and then um, Finch in the in the goal tonight. She's got a couple of saves. Not not a whole bunch of shots though. You saw a polka with a, with a really nice save tonight so far, but uh, not really a whole bunch of shots on goal tonight. Coach Quigley's coming over to talk to the student section. Coach Quigley gonna come over and talk to the student section. It looks like. Let's see this. This might be interesting. Let's see if we can get this. Hey guys, man, y'all showed up, but I can't hear you. That's not what he's saying, huh? <laughs> he's getting on to him because the ref complained about it. Oh, uh, gotcha. We don't want to show that, then. He, he's uh, he's talking to them because they were maybe a little too loud. Over. That's okay, Knights. Come on. Come on, these soccer refs. I tell you what, man. Let the Knights be the Knights. Come on. Same thing for the Blue Devils if their fans want to get into it. Let's, let's have some fun. Jared Peck, always good to see you, my friend. All right, so we'll uh, put up the scoreboard here. And the second half, gets underway. Second half about to start. This game live on prep spin. Simulcasting tonight to the NFHS network. Also to Facebook Watch tonight. You can watch it on Facebook if you want. But I tell you, the highest quality is on YouTube. You can watch it in 1080p on YouTube. Facebook, the highest quality that you can watch it on there is 720p. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, if you take your picture size, for example, I mean, you're, you're getting basically uh, double the size with the 1080p, which means obviously a better picture on the YouTube. Um, NFHS network 720p as well when they finally encode it down. 
I'm just saying. I mean, you got your choice. You can watch it wherever it's convenient for you to watch, but YouTube has definitely got better quality. So that's my choice. It's watching it on the Prep Spin app on the Amazon Fire TV. There we go. Lexington Catholic will have the ball to start the second half. Birdine, Olivia Birdine, was able to get it started here. Henry Clay and Lexington Catholic scoreless. Who will? Oh, what a save by Finch is the shot. I believe Birdine was the one that took the shot. Watch this. I mean, right off the bat, watch this. Birdine, she got loose. And Finch with a nice save for Henry Clay. A UPS Kentucky Loop instant replay. Henry Clay with the goal kick here. Is the wind has died down. Uh, looking out there at the flag as it's hanging straight down. But thanks, everybody, again for tuning in tonight to this one. Big matchup tonight at the 11th Region Semifinal. That one will make its way out of play. Another goal kick coming up here for Henry Clay. Terry Johnson in the house up here tonight, doing a great job as always. Athletic director here at Lexington Christian Academy. Ball here in the middle for Lexington Catholic. They're going to play it on the near sideline now. They try to send it back up towards the corner. Will be poked out of play. It'll be a throwing coming up for Lexington Catholic. They'll do it again. Another throwing coming up. And then we got that blind spot there on that right side. Is we're in the press book to, uh, press box, excuse me, tonight. This one gonna be collected again by Finch and uh, I don't know if they're going to say if that was a goal or not. Corner kick coming up. It's hard to hear the whistle down there on the field, but they said it was a corner kick before the follow-up shot attempt. It's a dangerous bounce here. Henry Clay will. Clear it out, though. The Knights looking back towards the middle. There's a look to the right side as Lexington Catholic trying to play it to the forward there. Didn't get to see who that was up front, but. Throw in by Mooring. Mooring is who that was. Mooring, who's just made the throw in. She was the one that was in the vicinity. Henry Clay back on the move. Leach. Trying to move right to left on your screen. Sammy Clay gets it across the half line. But there's the Knights defense once again. Tori McLaughlin with it. He's trying to get it up ahead. And it was broken loose again by Henry Clay. Pew will have the throw in. You're watching the Knights and the Blue Devils here on PrepSpin.com and simulcasting to the NFHS network tonight. Coach Quigley. Coach Aragaw trying to punch their ticket to meet Dunbar in the championship on Saturday. It's going to be at 6 p.m. here at Lexington Ball Christian down. Academy. Throwing coming up for Henry Clay. Well, 
Alden on that throw in there. Knights are looking here to Corbett now. Corbett going to take a shot. That one to the left of the goal. Finch there to collect. Five minutes and some change into the second half, and we're still scoreless. Although Lexington Cali had a nice shot when we very first started. That was a beautiful save by Finch. Ball here for Lexington Catholic. They try to work it back to the middle and nobody home there. Burdon had a touch. Corbett now. Chip shot. Finch able to get a Get a fist on it right at the end. That was a dangerous shot. It looked like it was going to be over the frame, but if Finch didn't get that fist on it, that might have been in the top right corner possibly. Finch with a nice save. It will be a corner kick for Lexington Catholic, though. Shaw with the corner kick. Shaw took the corner kick. All back out of play, and here's the Knights with another throw in, as you see. Good move there by the Knights. Finch got a piece of it. Out of play, it'll be a throw in coming up for the Knights. Finch got a piece of it over there, just barely. That throw in is going to go out. That's a sports center, not top ten. <laughs> they call it a handball after the throw in. It makes sense, actually. She she threw it in and it touched her. And I'm back on the hand. It's, the ball went nowhere. <laughs> Here comes Henry Clay again, defensive stop there. Is I see Calic trying to move the ball. Coughlin has a touch here. She's got a nice ball. Let's see where what happens here. And Finch will spoil it again. They were looking in there. Let's see if I can see the num those numbers for Lexington Catholic again is very, very hard to see. But they were looking in there for uh, Morning. Morning, excuse me. Every time I say her name, I want to say Morning, but it's Morning. You're going to have the toss in. Grace is a junior at Lexington Catholic, playing the midfield and also a defender, which is where she's really solid at. Warren going to toss this one in. That went off you. Warren will do it again. Ella Pugh, a sophomore for Henry Clay. You've heard her name a lot. Here in this one. Dangerous ball, Fitch again. Fitch 
Bruce has played really, really well this game. Thirty minutes and some change left to go here in this ball game. Well, in regulation anyway. Could go to overtime possibly if we remain scoreless. Natalie Carlisle in for the Blue Devils. Carlisle going to come into the game. Doing that, we'll take you here and let you check out Maggie Corbett. Where's that number 12 jersey for Lexington Catholic? Henry also Clay number 22 for Henry Clay. That's Andy Cox. Bree Patino. It's a good match up there. Is Corbin and Cox Patino. there? Throw in for Patino will come into the ball game too. It sounded like there for Lexington Catholic. Corbin had a touch, but Henry Clay able to. Pull through that. That was Ransdale able to knock that pass loose from Corbett. Ransdale, the uh, daughter of Bill Ransdale, former football player. Well, going down to the Corner is uh, Lexington Catholic will chase it down. But Bryant has it go back out of play as she played it safe over to the sideline there. And Henry Clay now trying to make something happen, but Knights are all over it. Beaumont, Corey Beaumont for. Uh, Henry Clay, she had a touch on it briefly. Going back the other way again. Big game for both teams tonight. Semifinals of the 11th region. Winner gets Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Dunbar, a team that uh, Lexington Catholic was able to uh, defeat for the district championship. Let's see if Henry Clay's played Dunbar yet, but I'm sure they have. Let's see if we can look that up. That one out of play to be a throwing so coming up. Throw in for Henry Clay. And we have a sub. Well, a subs coming into the ball game. I want to see if Henry Clay has played. Dunbar at all this season. Uh, let's see here. Yes, they did play in. Henry Clay lost to Dunbar 2 to nil in an early uh, season matchup. That was back on, let's see, that was back on September 12th. It was 2 to nothing. Dunbar defeated Henry Clay. And then, of course, Lexington Catholics got a 2 to nothing win over Henry uh, over Dunbar excuse me so <coughs> while we're waiting on the player that's down right now uh, Cam Deck uh, Cam Decker that is Cam's last name right Deckett Deckett okay Cam Deckett of uh, Bluegrass Orthopedics out there uh, attending to the young lady that's down and um, I want to thank again Bluegrass Orthopedics for all their Support here on the network, Andrew Carlson and his great staff, which includes Cam now this year. They do an outstanding job. Um, let's see. I want to show you the last replay that I have queued up here. And this is just uh, that Finch save there. I told that that was uh, Cox that was down. But uh, Cam able to help her out over there. And we'll get back under action here just in a few seconds. Ooh, 
Back on our way here in Lexington at Lexington Christian Academy. We're on the Rose Campus as Henry Clay and Lexington Catholic playing in the 11th region girls soccer semifinal game. Here comes the Blue Devils. That one poked loose, though. That was on the run there. That was Beaumont, Corey Beaumont for Henry Clay. Oh, sliding tackle, Ransdale will kick this one out of play. It'll be a goal kick coming up for Opalka and the Knights. Opalka will have the goal kick here for the Knights. No. A little bit of contact and a foul going to be caught against Lexington Catholic. So Henry Clay will have a free kick here at uh, 40 yards out maybe. Hawkey getting set up in the frame is Elizabeth Hunley about to take the free kick for Henry Clay. She's just a junior, so she'll be back next year. You can kind of tell how cold it is out there. Now, these girls, they have shorts on out there because they've been running, but you saw as Hunley uh, took a breath out there and blew it back out that all that uh, – All that hot air came right back out, uh, and you saw it on the camera. Ransdale looking up ahead, broken up by the Knights. Corbett had a touch on it. And it's going to be out of play. So the Knights will be set up with a corner kick. Getting back on the uh, ball was Hunley, Elizabeth Hunley, a sophomore for Henry Clay. And over there for the Knights was Emily Scanlon. Scanlon, the freshman. But Schaff will take the corner kick for Lexington Catholic. She games right at the official there, and he adds the duck to get out of the way. Right, just, just missing a opportunity is. Ball out on Natalie Carlisle. Morning with the throw in. Morning was in the vicinity there off of the deflection from the Knights, but and a throw in for the Lady Knights. Be another throw in for it, Lexington Catholic coming up. Another throw in for the Lady Knights. Another throw in coming up here for another Lexington nine. Catholic. Trying to show you guys as much as that corner as we can over there, but again, we got the blind spot to the right. Knights with a nice chip shot there, Finch there to collect, though. She's had a Couple gems tonight in the frame. Beaumont with it. Beaumont. As Opalka will scoop that one up. It's wide to the left on the shot. Elio Palka. That one's going to be 
played out of bounds and a throwing coming up for the Knights. Ransdell, nice defensive play. First game was Paul Lawrence Dunbar. And they are awaiting the winner of this one for the right for the 12th region championship and the move on in the state tournament. Lexington Catholic's been there many, many times. Historically, the Knights have a great history behind them. Slogan over there, of course, is tradition never graduates. And it is held true with the soccer program. Will they continue that tradition tonight? Or will Henry Clay move on? Subs for both Got teams. subs coming into the ball game. Time caught out there, it looks like. Let's say pause the clock for a minute. So the clock has been stopped by the official. Came on for Henry Clay. We've got uh, Sophie Skinner came on for Lexington Catholic. The officials want to talk things over here. We'll see what what's going on. This official going into the crowd, so that can't be good. But some. <coughs> So the official the is over here at the press box down below talking with the Lexington Christian Academy staff. The players are being taken to their respective benches right now. So, I mean, that's the only information that we have at the moment. I'll show you Henry Clay here. to Lexington Catholic. Well, I'll tell you what, this is not good for the players out there because they're, it's cold outside and they're getting cold now but after been hot running and everything. So we're waiting to see what what happens. You see the Lexington Catholic Knights uh, players there. They they're confused as to what the situation is. We got the athletic staff talking with the officials here. Folks, I don't know. They're still talking. 
We don't want to show them on camera, but. Knights fans, you can hear them out there getting into the game now. <laughs> they're, they're trying to get the crowd warmed up. of hell Catholic out there amongst this crowd. So not sure what the stoppage was. I, I thought I heard an air horn out there is what I thought I heard originally. Maybe that's, was it across the way? Okay, so that's supposed to be here. We're back underway. <laughs> Here we go is Lexington Catholic and Henry Clay. We're under 20 minutes left to go in this regulation. Possible good ball here for the Knights, and it was spoiled there by Henry Clay. That was a nice play by Carlisle. Carlisle on the defense for Henry Clay. But it will be a corner kick coming up for the Knights. So Schaff will take the corner kick. Laying it in there. There's Finch out of the box and, or excuse me, out of the frame, but the shot was over the frame by Corbett. Corbett took the shot, but it was over the frame. Had an opportunity as Finch was out of the frame. Might have been one of the night's best looks of the night there. Henry Clay had that really nice look, but Opalka with that sliding save. The opportunity for Henry Clay that time, and Opalka came out there and got in front of the shot. She wasn't afraid, and the Henry Clay player banged up a little bit. For making comments that are detrimental to the sportsmanship that we expect at high school sporting events per the KHSA Sportsmanship Code. Failure to do so will cause immediate ejection from the facility. Thank you for your cooperation, and let's keep enjoying this wonderful game between two wonderful teams. Henry Clay and Lysony Catholic. It is a battle here tonight. That went off of Lexington Catholic, and it'll be a throw in for Henry Clay coming up. You're watching the game live tonight on Prep Spin, and Simulcasting to the NFHS network on KHSAA TV. John Sims, want to thank him. Atkinson Sims and Cremo PLLC. And thank him for all he does for us here on the network. And Mingy Beach Jerky, the official game day snack of Prep Spin. Throwing Knights here. Knights sent that one back to the center. Trying to set something up. Shot to the right. 
Burdine saying it was off of Henry Clay. We're looking at a corner kick. And it is a corner kick coming up. Burdine exactly right. Alexis Burdine. Official again. Motioning to the sideline. He's telling, I think he was telling Henry Clay to get back over on the sideline. Here's the corner kick. I think that's what we'll do from now on on those corner kicks over here where we've got that blind spot is we'll just show you kind of what's going on in the zoomed in mode. Here's another break up there by Henry Clay off of a shot that Lexington Catholic was taking. This has been a defensive matchup tonight. Fans are getting into it. The official <laughs> had a touch on it. Knights. Playing on the far sideline now. Beaumont had that touch on it there for Henry Clay briefly. Knight's able to push through, but Henry Clay again. Now Lexington Catholic takes it right back. So Ransdale with the defense. Good ball here. Ransdale up ahead, but look at the defense by Lexington Catholic. Getting back on that for the Knights was Ham, McKenna Ham. That was a run out that was possibly a one-on-one -on -one situation between Opalka and Henry Clay. And Ham, McKenna Ham with an outstanding defensive play. Chip shot to the left. More than shot goes wide to the left. Full kick for Henry Clay. How about him, man? What a what a great play by the junior. Might have been a game saver there. 13 minutes and some change. You are watching this game live tonight. Semi-final between Lexington Catholic and Henry Clay. Throwing Knights coming up. That was uh, Scanlon on the throw in over on the far side. Hard to believe Scanlon is just a freshman with the talent that she has. Finch will collect. Knights fans chanting, I believe that we will win. Henry Clay also chanting back and forth to the Knights fans. That ball cleared out. It'll be a throw in for Henry Clay after the start. And these two teams, no strangers to each other, especially when it comes to playoff soccer. That sub with Andy Cox. Ransdale will play it back. Beaumont. Beaumont will play it ahead here to Carlisle. The Knights will take it back. Good ball here for the Knights. Can they capitalize on it? 
Broken up, Henry Clay. Knights were looking up to Mooring. Bryant will the throw in here, but it was a good uh, forward pass there to Mooring, but Henry Clay got back quick on defense. That shot to the left. Finch will take that. Looks like Bird on, I believe. Or excuse me, not Bird on. That was. Uh, was it Banahan, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Give me a minute, I'll tell you who took that shot. Ooh. Ouch. Yes, again. Right here. We'll slow it down for you. Right there. That was a hard elbow. McLaughlin. We'll play it here. <laughs> Sidekick. That was a good uh, opportunity there for Lexington Catholic. Look at this young lady who took it right here for Lexington Catholic. That's Jordan Gow. Jordan Gow. Gow's had a couple looks. As a matter of fact, she was the young lady I was thinking about a, a little while ago that uh, had a good look at it earlier. Another good ball here. Oh, Knights had a great opportunity, but Beaumont sat down and in doing so saved the shot as it came off Corbett's leg. Beaumont. I don't know if she intended to do that. Maybe she saw it out of the corner of her eye. But whatever she did just now may have saved a goal for Henry Clay. That one punched out, follow up by the Knights to the left. Another opportunity for the Knights. Birdine trying to punch that in, but it went to the left. So Henry Clay with another goal kick here. Time ticking away. Henry Clay with an opportunity on the run out here. Opalka is going to come out there and punch it loose just in time. Kelly Opalka, another foot in stride for Henry Clay, and they might have got to it before Opalka did. Opportunity night shot. Finch save. Under eight minutes left to go in regulation. Blue Devils have it on the far side. Knights with a touch. That one going to be a throw in coming up for the Knights as that one goes out of play. You guys are burning my phone up tonight. Like seriously running my battery down on my phone. My phone. <laughs> I came here with 100% and it's in the 30s now. So for Lexington Catholic, looks like Emily Scanlon. I see all your messages coming in. I'm going to try to get a couple of these. Excuse me. Goal kick for Henry Clay. John Tranner watching tonight. you got a big uh, week coming up here. It's chicken up, salad chick. Getting ready to open there in uh, Brandon Crossing. 
Chicken salad chick. I can't wait to eat there. Heard great things about the franchise. I'm glad that uh, we've got a good friend that is going to own part of that. And looking forward to that over in Brandon Crossing. But uh, Tranter watching tonight, on, I assume on his big screen. Great attorney, too, by the way. If you need one. 550 left to go in this regulation. McLaughlin going to take the kick here. You guys don't want to go nowhere. This one is building up to be a great finish for one of these teams. You get into overtime, then you got golden goal rules. You got two five minute overtimes to see if somebody can score the sudden death golden goal. Or if they don't, then you go to PKs, which could be big time for both teams. If it's two good keepers, two really good keepers in the game. So, matter of fact, I believe these two had some uh, PKs a while back when Caleb. I want to say it's Caleb Price, the, the keeper that went to to uh, University of Kentucky. When she played, these two teams met up in PKs in the finals and or in the region final. And uh, that was quite the shootout. Throw in for the Lady Knights. Throw in Lexington Catholic here. We've got a whistle down on the field. It's going to go back to Henry Clay. That will be a Henry Clay throwing. Henry Clay on the throw in here. Thanks looking towards the middle. This one's going to take a one hop. Finch got a dive on it. Right there was Birdine. She was ready to unload on that ball if it took another bounce. Finch falls on it. Henry Clay, another break given to the Blue Devils. What a great game we've got for you here tonight. These two teams have brought it. Brought what you may ask. It may sound cheesy. But it's the truth. They brought their A game tonight. Both teams. Just over three minutes remaining in regulation. Blue Devils on a run out on the far side of the field. Collected by Opaka. That was uh, Natalie Carlisle, the senior for Henry Clay, on the far side of the field with the run out, but nothing happening. Annie Cox had a touch on it there, and they play it over here to Hawkinsmith. Hawkinsmith. Knights heading back the other way, though. Beaumont, she's going to step in front of the pass. Beaumont on the move. Knights going to have to chase her down. And we got contact over there. It kind of went out of our frame with the blind spot that we got on the left side. But there was contact, and it will be a Henry Clay free kick coming up here. Try to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. So you heard there, Beaumont going to take the free kick here for the Blue Devils. There's the 
Kick header, good. Henry Clay on the board with a header. It was a perfect free kick. And the header goes in. Henry Clay pumped right now. Watch this. Free kick right here. We saw it down for you. The header was just perfect. I mean, what can you say? That was a nice header there by Henry Clay. Did we see who got the header by chance? Leach with the header for Henry Clay, and they're on the board. One to nil. One minute and 21 seconds left to go in this regulation, possibly in this ball game. Throw in for Lexington Catholic. Henry Clay up one to nil. Knights got to get something and get something quick here. Throw in for Catholic again, just under one minute remaining in regulation. One minute left. Gal with it. Shot. That went to the left, but ball still alive. Knights almost got it in the corner there, and Beaumont spoils it once again. Almost in there from Catholic. Just saved by Henry Clay. Corner kick coming up. The Knights almost punched it in the lower right corner, but Beaumont able to deny it. Time running out, 10 seconds. Henry Clay on the run here. Contact. And a throw in, no need for it. Henry Clay's gonna win this one. Henry Clay's gonna advance. And move on to face Dunbar for the 11th region championship. Biggest win of the season right there for Henry Clay. Defeating the number two Knights. Number two in the state, Lexington Catholic Knights. As for Henry Clay, congratulations on your win. We'll see you back here Saturday. Here's a uh, look at that header again here. But it was just placed perfect. I mean, watch watch this. Not much you can do with that. Leach puts it in to the back of the net. And this one, folks, is a final. So Henry Clay. Defeats Lexington Catholic one to nil here in the semifinals of the 11th Region Girls Soccer Tournament, and we'll play we'll play the winner of the first game tonight, who also won one to nothing over Frederick Douglass, and that was Paul Lawrence Dunbar. So 42nd taking on the 43rd in the 11th Region Championship, and uh, we'll see you guys again on Saturday as we bring that to you here on the network. Thanks, everybody, again for tuning in here on Prep Spin. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today and we always will be for generations to come. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. 
in Lexington and now in Somerset.